We're going to talk about the apparent wind angle change due to current. Um, this is actually a pretty advanced and complex concept. I don't think I figured out how exactly this works until um, after Opti sailing. I had the basic current rules like fight it and write it and it's faster current in deep water and less current in shallow water and stuff like that. Um, but the apparent wind angle changing due to current is really pretty fundamental and if you understand it you have a very very big advantage over everyone else who doesn't. So here's our test question. This is a perfectly square starting line. Um, drawn out it looks pin favored but theoretically this is a perfectly completely square starting line. The wind's coming straight down the page. These boats are simulations so they get the exact same start, one at the boat end, one at the pin end, and they, they go the exact same speed. Okay, they're <coughs> Racing to the weather mark, they both sail straight to this current line and they don't tack. Okay. Um, there's no current whatsoever below the black line. As soon as they cross a black line, they're into current going directly across the page this way. Okay. Four knots of current or whatever it is. Uh, the answer is still the same no matter. How much current it is in this example so there's no current ex at all you cross the current line at the exact same time you're dead even when you cross the current line as soon as you get into this current line which boat is ahead so pause the video now um, and kind of think through this and see if you can get the correct answer for yourself before before I give it to you okay so the hint is that the one boat wins because the apparent wind angle of their boat changes due to the influence of the current as soon as they cross this line. So pause the video and think about it. These guys are dead even. Cross this line at exactly the same time, dead even. Which boat comes out ahead? The correct answer is boat A. Um, now let's explain why. So if the current is going in this direction, okay, that means the wind, or it, let's say there's absolutely no wind whatsoever. So it, when you're trying to come up with the answers to questions like this, it's helpful to go to the absolute extreme and to exaggerate the situation as much as possible. So let's say we have 100 knots of current and zero knots of wind. So as soon as we cross this, this black line here, what is the wind that we're going to be experiencing? Well, we're going to be experiencing, since we're getting dragged <coughs> in this direction, by the current at 100 knots, okay? If we're getting drug in this direction, the wind we're going to be experiencing on our boat is 100 knots head on from this direction, okay? Which is a big, big, big right shift, okay? So let's now explain a realistic example. Okay, so here is one knot of current, one knot of wind, two knots of wind, three, four, Five, six, seven. Okay, so there's ten knots of wind. You're getting drug through the current. Okay, so anyway, this is what you have below this black line before you get stuck in the current. Is you have this is the true wind direction. There's no current, so that's the wind you're experiencing over your boat as long as your boat's not moving. Okay. Uh, when you start moving, it, it'll shift forward a little bit of the apparent wind, but this is still the true wind direction. Now, when you get into five knots of current, that's going in this direction, two, three, four, five, okay, then the wind direction that you're going to experience is the line that you would draw from this point To this point okay now the length of this line represents the speed and the angle represents the direction right so this line is longer than the original wind direction line and it's shifted to the right okay quite a bit by however many degrees that would be so um, I think if you're understanding this right now I'm technically teaching you like physics and math and stuff but this is just really good stuff to understand for racing and current is how does the apparent wind angle change when you get into different types of current. So going back to the race course we had, 
in Morro Bay. We had a ton of current down here, so a lot of current at the starting line, and as we got closer and closer to the weather mark, we had less and less and less current. So we started in a lot of current, going from right to left across the course, and as we got closer and closer to the weather mark, we got less and less current going from right and left across the race course. So the current decreased as we got farther and farther upwind. So what type of shift would that be? So here's the first example. We have uh, five units of wind coming straight down the page and four units of current going right across the page. So the apparent wind angle or the wind that we're going to be experiencing on the boat is reflected in this arrow right here. Okay, so it's longer than the true wind direction and it's <coughs> it's a significant lefty, right? It's a very big left shift and it's also an increase in the pressure. Okay, now as we start to get up the race course more, the current dies down. So let's say we had four units of current here and now we have two units of current over here. Okay, so big, big difference here and we're going to see that overlay the two on top of each other. Here's the four knots of current and the big lefty and then when that goes away and we end up in two knots of current we see we get this arrow here okay so the arrow is shorter and it's not as an extreme of a lefty so here's the four knot of current apparent wind direction here's the two knots of current apparent wind direction uh, so that means effectively as we sail up the course towards the weather mark we're sailing into less pressure and it's going to be a righty okay does that make sense so we start out with four knots of current experiencing this longer arrow that's clocked farther to the left okay that's the wind we're experiencing as that dies away the to two knots of current we experience less wind and it's shifted more to the right relative to the old wind direction so it's died and gone right is what the effect we're going to feel on our boat. Now, at the Morro Bay Regatta, what actually happened, I think, was the current on the top half of the race course wasn't that strong, and the wind played more of a factor, and the wind had a left shift to it. So the, the current apparent wind shift on due to current's got nothing to do with what the wind is actually doing. It's just adding an extra factor to that, so it's changing what you would experience over your boat. So if... We had no current whatsoever. The lefty, the natural lefty that was in the reflected in the true wind, would have been even stronger. This maybe took some of the the strength out of the lefty and made the left side a, pay a little bit less, but the left still paid really strong. And through some quick, simple examples, just so we get the idea. Here's the wind. All right. Here's the current. What's the apparent wind that we're going to experience, right? Okay, so that would be the combined distance of both lines. <coughs> and we would be experiencing it from this direction. Okay, let's do another one. I lost. Here's another example. Here's the wind speed and direction, right? The speed is represented by the size of the arrow again. And let's say the current speed and direction is the exact same, okay? So we draw the line from tail to tail, and there isn't one. So this one is zero wind whatsoever that we would feel over our boat in this scenario. All right, let's do... So that's super windy, extremely windy, really long arrow. And then... The current's going, why not that way? Okay, um, so that would make the speed and direction of the wind would be represented by this arrow. That's not a very straight line, but it should be. Okay, let me think, is that right? That is right, yeah. Okay, so the current is pushing you in this direction relative to the wind. Okay, which if makes the wind, apparent wind, shift this way. Okay, and you factor that into the real wind, and this is the apparent wind angle that you feel over your boat. 
All right, so let's try this wind direction. And we're going to make the current go this way. Okay, so a ridiculous amount of current. Okay, a ton of current, not that much wind. The wind that you are going to feel over your boat is going to be this. Okay, does that make sense? Let me think about it. Yeah, that should be right. No wind whatsoever, and you're getting ripped along at this speed and direction by the current, the apparent wind angle and speed that you're going to feel can be represented by this line. Okay, now when we factor in the true wind direction right here, we get go from this wind direction, which is very windy and from, uh, I guess what you would call southeast if you want, to it shifts left and becomes lighter when you add in the true wind direction itself. Okay, so when this angle here between these two lines is less than 90 degrees, then the true wind direction we come up with is going to be less than the larger of the current or the wind. In this case, it will be less than the current, okay? If this angle is greater than 90 degrees, then that means that the current and the wind combine to form a new apparent wind direction that is greater than either, than both the current and the wind, not combined, but individually. Good real life example of this concept used to formulate a strategy at the Berkeley Circle, the venue for the Harkin series and for team trials. Um, on this day, what we had was we had some type of current that was flooding in from the Golden Gate Bridge over here, and then we had some kind of river or something over in this corner of the bay over here that was pushing current out in this direction. So we had two different currents kind of coming from two different places. Now, uh, the wind direction throughout the day stayed constant. We had the same wind direction and the same wind speed for the most part. I mean, it varied a little bit, but for the purposes of the of this example we'll say it was exactly the same okay and what we noticed was that the left side continued to pay more and more and more throughout the day even though the course and the true wind seemed to be exactly the same so we were honestly kind of confused as coaches by the end of the day what we figured out was going on is that this current line over here got stronger and stronger and stronger. Okay, so this current kept increasing more and more and more. Okay, so what happens as that current increases? So here, let's draw that current really nice and small. Okay, now in that case, we're going to end up with this wind direction right here. Okay. So slightly to the left of the original starting true wind direction. Now let's make the current increase. As the current increases, you can represent that with this current line growing. As the current increases, the new line shows another lefty. Okay, And then as the current increases even further through the day, we can represent that by making this current line grow even farther. We have a new wind direction that's even farther left than the last. So as this current increased more and more throughout the day, the wind seemed to shift farther and farther left. Okay, even though the true wind direction never moved. Quiz for those of you that weren't in the first classroom. We've got to establish that it doesn't matter where. Halfway up the beat, you cross the Gulf Stream, and now there's a Two knot current. <coughs> does it matter? How many people say, does it matter that you've just added this fact here? So two knots all the way, all the way to the top of the mark now. <coughs> It'll just be the starboard advantage when you finally come together. How many people, so okay. How many people say, want to start at the committee boat end because you want to start up current? Down current. What, how many are you, those here you all? Okay, well, the answer is two boats come off the line here. And let's say they're not they're not to the lay line by the time they get to here. So it's two to ten. Oops, sorry. Well, yep, it's the other way, exactly. Actually, you add the, I forget, you add the tails, whatever it is.